Hey guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Revlon X Wonder Woman collection. So this is the Revlon X WW84 collection. Just trying to get all my keywords in there. All right, guys, so let's get started. This came in the mail yesterday. And look at this, first of all, how cool. This is gonna be such a great storage case for me to keep on my desk here. I'm trying not to tilt it too much. I took everything out of the wrappers, so everything's kind of banging against each other right now. But very cool packaging. So we have Wonder Woman's iconic lasso here. So it looks like these are wrapped around a bunch of eyeliners, and maybe there's some lip gloss in there. I'm excited to see if I could turn this into like a necklace. So that was on the top shelf here. So we're just gonna remove this one down at the bottom here. This is, oh shit. So we have a few lipsticks here in the infamous Wonder Woman packaging. And we have two nail polishes, which is a great thing because my nails are looking rough. Then it looks like we have a liquid highlighter here. And we have two lips here. So we have a vinyl lip polish and a matte. I feel like I'm really gonna like this guy. Next up, we just have a regular mirror here. And last but not least, we have an eyeshadow palette. It looks like this is mostly neutrals with a couple pops of color, so I'm excited to use this guy. So I just undid the lasso part, and I wanna swatch these guys for you. So these are Colorstay Glay Sticks. So I have the shade Sapphire in here, and then this shade is Gilt. Okay, so first I'll show you guys the sapphire. Which way does this go? Okay, so it looks like one side is like a cream coloring and then the other side is like a smudger. We're gonna find out. All right, guys, just put this on here. Ugh, love this color. I mean, you guys already know how I feel about blue, but I just love the color sapphire. All right, now we're gonna go in with this smudging side. Okay, so it looks like it just smudges out the color, but it takes a lot of the pigment away. It almost just makes it more of like a sparkle formula, like a sheer sparkle. And let's see how the gold one looks. It's a beautiful formula. So yeah, the smudger definitely like waters down the formula a little bit, but I guess it depends on the kind of look that you're going for but I definitely like that sapphire. That's really pretty. Since I just showed you those two, I think I'll just show you the rest of the products that were tied into the lasso here. And then the other products I'll show you guys as I'm putting them on. This next one is a red liquid liner. Oh, it's not red, it's black. It tripped me up with the red top here. Okay, so, so it just looks like, oops. I don't typically like the like high shine liquid liners. I don't know what it is. It's just not my style, but we'll see if that dries down a little bit. And then next up we have Revlon Kiss Melting Lipstick. It has a little clicker here. And I just clicked it. So hopefully it didn't just dispel all the formula in the top and then it just like ruined the whole thing. So what is the clicker for? Am I an idiot? Is that just like for show? Is that like something that has to do with Wonder Woman and I'm just like being an idiot right now? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so, <laughs> so it actually pumps up the top here so it's not a twist. So you literally go like, but then how do I get it to go back down? Oops. Anyway, this is a swatch of this lip. So it looks like this is a satin finish. Okay, so that eyeliner actually dried down. So it looks like more of a matte. And I just wiped off the rest of my hand here. So it looks like it has some glitter in there now, but that's not from the formula, it's just from my hand. Although that does look really nice. All right guys, next up is Transforming Effects Eye Powders. So this is what the tube looks like. Did I just break it? Okay, so these are a twist off. Oh my God, this is going really well. Okay, so. Okay, so these remind me a lot of, what were they, the transforming eyeliners from um, Urban Decay? 
So they're just like a light powder. And then here is the green one. So what these do is when you put them over top of eyeliner, it changes the eyeliner to almost like a metallic vibe. You know what, let me go over. Do you see that? So it just like gave it a green hint. And then I'll show you guys the purple. So yeah, it basically just spices up a black eyeliner. Although I said this in the Urban Decay video too, I wonder how long these would last. It's not like there's more in here that you could like pump up. It's just kind of like a one and done. All right, next up we have a lip gloss here in the shade Fight For It. So it looks like this is like a glittery red. So it looks like a true red with some pink sparkles in there. And this looks like a blue based red, so it'll make your teeth look really white. But for right now, let's move on to the eyeshadow. And there are so many eye products in this collection. So I think I'm gonna use like the neutral eyeshadows in here. And then for the smoked out blue look that I had in mind, I'll use the sapphire. And then we'll do like the little smoke out. And then maybe go over top of the black eyeliner with this guy. Let's just get started because I'm getting overwhelmed. And once I start to get overwhelmed, I might just say F it and then stop filming and then it'll ruin my day. So let's just go. Are you guys like that too? I feel like once I start to get like a minor roadblock, I'm like, my inspiration is gone. That is it, I can't be bothered. But when it comes to working for yourself, like that's something I really need to work on because no one else is gonna do it for me. So I got the eyeshadow palette here. These are the shades up close. All right guys, these are all the swatches right here. Minus the eyeliner at the top. <laughs> All right, so to get started, I'm gonna go in with this gold shade here. And then I'm probably gonna use this guy as well. And then maybe this one as like an inner corner highlight. And I have to say guys, from swatching these, the color payoff for this palette is really good. Usually I feel like with black palettes like this, it just reminds me of like child makeup, like kids makeup, where it's like barely any pigment. So I'm getting a lot of fallout from this palette, but I'm also digging in kind of hard, or they might just be soft shadows. But it wiped away really easily, so that's all that matters. The worst is when you ruin your entire makeup just from doing that. You're like, really? So these have a lot less pigment when you're using a brush. So I'm gonna go in with my finger, which since I have nails on, this is really tough. Oh yeah. I love this color too. It's like the perfect summer shade, summer and fall shade. I picked up an eyeshadow brush that still had a little bit of black on there. So that's why my inner corner looks like that. Hopefully we can save this. Maybe if I just kind of bring this into, do like a real crazy, like smoked out look. So normally when you're going into your crease, you don't want a metallic shade but there isn't really a transition shade in here. There's just like a darker brown. And I think that might ruin the look that I'm going for if I'm gonna do the blue like smoked out. Okay, so let's go into that sapphire shade. Okay, should I do the outer corner too? Yeah. Maybe like lead it out. All right, now let's use the smudgy side. So the smudgy side is a little hard. So it's hurting my eyelid a little bit to smudge. But I wonder if on your actual eyelid, like if you were using it here, yeah, this doesn't hurt. But when I'm using it on that crease, it's hurting a little bit. Maybe I just have sensitive eyes. Okay, so it's not exactly coming out the way that I was hoping. So I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with that dark blue shade in the palette and I'm gonna go into the crease, like the outer crease. All right, so that's a little bit more of what I was envisioning. I really like it, what do you guys think? So is this something that's like not groundbreaking, but I'm just thinking that it is? I don't think I've ever seen this color combo. I'm just breaking all the rules. All right, now I'm gonna go right on the outer corner of the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna catch up the other eye real quick and I'll be back. All right guys, both eyes are finished. Now I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner. 
So this is the one that I showed you guys already. All right, one eye down, on to the next. All right, now I'm gonna try the sapphire gel in my waterline. Ooh, I like that. Now for lips guys, I think I kind of want to go the boring option just because I feel like this is, I'm just going to love the shade. This is very me, but this is, okay. So this is called birthday suit. Very fitting. Ooh, it smells really good too. It smells like berries. So I'm just going to line my lips real quick and I'm going to use the Milani lip liner in all natural. All right, guys, let's try this out on my lips. It's definitely more pinky than I expected, but I still like it. And it's more of a full coverage gloss, which is nice. It covered up my little bitten lips there, but I do like this color. I think this is definitely an everyday shade and it is a little bit of a sticky kind of formula for a gloss. But I kind of like that, to be honest. I mean, I don't think my hair will like that when it gets caught in there, but I like it. As long as you have your hair up, it's a good formula. All right, guys, I'm gonna pop on some lashes and then I'll be back to my final review. All right, guys, the lashes are on and I almost forgot to use this highlighter. So this looks like a cream highlighter. Okay, so liquid, liquid armor gold pot. Ooh, wait, what is this? A highlighter okay so it's saying it's a highlighter but it's like a lip gloss formula you know what this came with a little manual let me read it real quick okay so yeah it says jelly like texture glides onto skin for a buildable champagne gleam finish so I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit. I actually really like that. I was hating on it for a while. But look at that. If anything, I feel like this just looks like such a natural glow, doesn't it? Wow, I feel like that really just transformed the shape of my face. Okay, so I'll definitely be using this pretty much every single day of my life. <laughs> but yeah, for my final review, guys, I feel like I don't think that I didn't like anything. I, okay, so the one thing that I don't think that is worth purchasing really would be this guy here. This was called um, the Transforming Effects Eye Powders. I just don't know how long this will last you. And I mean, maybe this is just more of a personal preference. I just, I don't know, I like a black eyeliner. I don't really need it to be transformed into anything. This was just something that I wouldn't purchase myself. So I wouldn't bother with this guy. But yeah, I liked everything else. Like I said, the eyeshadow performed amazingly, especially for like a block eyeshadow palette, if you guys know what I mean. I feel like, um, what is it? Maybelline does those a lot and they have no pigment at all. They're just like terrible. <laughs> but Maybelline's like single eyeshadows work really well. But I feel like when they block them all in a palette like that, I don't know what it is, but it just never works out. But I would definitely be purchasing both of these lips again. I'm not a huge red lip wearer, but I love a good matte red lip. So, and this is like the perfect red for me. It's like a little bit of a darker red, nothing like too crazy in your face. I really like that. And I really like this lip too. This is more of an everyday. I like that it's a little bit more of a full coverage. And yeah, all the other lipsticks that came in this bundle here, I think these are all really, amazing shades. I love the plum. I love the coral. And this one had a matte red in here as well, right? Yeah. So this was a really pretty matte red. The gloss was also pretty cool. I'm not a big, like I said, I'm not a big red lip wearer. So I definitely wouldn't wear like a red gloss. I mean, maybe for like a dress up occasion or something or put over top of one of these lipsticks just for like an added like boom, you know, I would definitely purchase this Sapphire guy here. This was the color stay glaze stick. I just think this is such a beautiful color. I mean, I did mix this with the other blue eyeshadow in the palette, 
but for the most part, this had a lot of pigment to it and just smeared all over your eyelid. I feel like this would look amazing or even just like a blown out eyeliner look. Ooh. But yeah, let me know what your favorite product was from this collection. And if you're gonna be purchasing any of these products, let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you so much to Revlon for sending this collection over. I can't even believe I'm on Revlon's PR list. Like, what the hell? <laughs> but yeah, make sure to subscribe to this video if you guys wanna see more videos from me. I've been forgetting to do my hair at the end of every video. What the hell? My hair's a little greasy too. So I don't know if I'm gonna do it. But I'll have my shit together for next time. So yeah, make sure to subscribe and I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. I do like this eye look though. Oh, I forgot to use the necklace. Let me see. Ouch. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure I could figure something out. But I do really like this. This will come in handy for Halloween though. I'm sure I could figure out a million uses for it.